angels waging war in the unseen realm. Global events fulfilling biblical prophecy, eternal life. What lies beyond mortality? From analyzing the paranormal from a biblical worldview to the discussion of cutting edge science and technology, conspiracy, discovery, special investigative reports. Unafraid to explore the challenging issues facing humanity. Welcome to another edition of Skywatch TV. There may be a time bomb ticking inside your gut at this very moment. Welcome to Skywatch TV, I'm Derek Gilbert. We're gonna be talking about nutrition and how it affects you for the next few weeks. And the reason is this, it is difficult, if not impossible, to give your utmost for his highest, or for the highest, when you feel awful because of the junk that you've been eating. Joining me on the panel as we discuss a groundbreaking new book, which we hope will open many eyes, left to right on your television screen. First, a professional fitness and nutrition specialist, the COO of Skywatch TV, and the best-selling author of the groundbreaking book, Dead Pets Don't Lie, author and the cover model for the brand new book, Time Bomb, Joe Artis Horn. Joe, welcome. Thanks, Derek. His co-author on the book, a certified researcher, certified uh, private investigator, rather, researcher, author, and the uh, administrator for Skywatch TV, Whispering Ponies Range, and Defender Publishing, Allie Anderson, and an expert uh, in nutrition, a uh, licensed doctor of chiropractic, a uh, master's of, holds a master's of science in traditional oriental medicine and a certified natural health professional. We welcome to the panel and to Skywatch TV for the first time, Dr. Ralph Umbriaco. Ralph, Love you welcome. being here. Thank you for having me. Um, Time bomb. Let's start with you, Joe, uh, and and this uh, rather compelling <clears throat> image on the cover. Uh, why did you write the book, Time Bomb? It's shocking, Derek. The world's most leading holistic doctors and scientists now believe that as many as 80% of Americans are walking around as we speak, as these programs are airing, with a medical crisis time bomb in their bodies. And these people are completely unaware that soon chronic disease, chronic illness, and potentially cancer will reveal itself. That is the time bomb. Hmm. So what is the uh, cause of this, this, this ticking time bomb? The cause is the disease, the completely toxic foods that we're ingesting every single day unaware. Now, a lot of people watching this program have probably seen red flags. They've seen articles. They've seen Facebook memes where, you know, th this dye or this ingredient is, is linked to child uh, cancer or autism or something like this. And, and they're not sure what to make of it. There's this, it, it's kind of like Neo being in the matrix. I, I think of it this way, where he's in the matrix and he gets that first phone call from Trinity and he knows that something all around him is wrong, but he can't quite put his finger on it. And that is a lot of people's relationship to food. It's almost common knowledge now that when you're talking about chickens and things like this, people say, oh, you know, there's hormones. We know it's not good for us. But that's where they stop. They're suspicious, but they stop there because the, the, the amount of research and data that's needed to validate facts, to cut through the smoke screens, the memes, also this idea that the FDA is regulating this stuff. Well, wouldn't they keep us safe? It's so much. And the idea that, 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 you know, eating organic is so expensive on the front end, and can you trust the labels? Even if you wanted to make a lifestyle change, can you trust the labels? Where does it begin? So a lot of people, they're already working their nine to five. Mm -hmm. They're raising families. They're, they're busting their necks to just get by. The whole conversation is so intimidating that they just stop knowing that something is generally wrong and they don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. That is the motivation behind mm -hmm. Time Bomb. I'm a person who struggles with OCD. Dr. Ralph and I have joked a little bit about some of that. I find it difficult to take on massive subjects without breaking it down into baby steps. What? Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. But where can I start? Give me a baby step. Mm -hmm. Don't overwhelm me. Don't, don't waterboard me with information. I, I need to start at the beginning and slowly build on things that I really can do about it. So the whole purpose behind the book, Time Bomb, is to, is to kind of walk a lay person through the daunting research, cut through the smoke screen, give them understandable information 
that's been done for them. Time Bomb essentially was written for people that are, that, are, that are out there working their jobs. They don't have time to become private investigators to bust the lid off with some brand new expose. We've done that for them. Mm -hmm. We want to spoon feed them information. And basically, we've created a field guide that says when you go shopping, this book, take it with you. Leave it in the glove box of your car. Flip to the chapter where it you know, talks about the label game. Can you trust the FDA? What does organic mean versus 100% organic? Can you afford to eat organic? Does it help you to eat things that are labeled organic? Um, it raises uh, you know, the top deadly ingredients that you're gonna want to avoid. We, we've done this so that a lay person can just pick it up and say, Finally, mm -hmm. a manual that will help me navigate this overwhelming topic in a way that I can understand. Believe me, if I can understand it, so can you. Yeah. Now, a lot of people will get to, uh, say, my age. Okay, I'm in my mid-50s. Sure. And have eaten a certain way for a long time and just consider mealtime, um, especially when you get busy, as sort of an inconvenience. I'm just going to grab this because I've only got 15 minutes to eat and this is quick. I can pop it in the microwave. Right. Everything's fine. And I, I right. feel okay, you, maybe I'm a little fatigued sometime, and yeah, maybe my back aches from time to time, and I'm not sleeping as well right. as I should, but that's normal, everybody feels like. Dr. Ralph, wh what are some of these, um, uh, say, additives or chemicals or, or whatever that, we, that, that are causing us problems, and, and how do they manifest? In other words, how do we know that our health is being affected by being careless with what we put into our bodies? Yeah, that's an excellent question. You know, the scripture oftentimes refers to my people suffer for lack of knowledge. Yeah. So I think the first step in order to change your life around into something better would be to garner a certain degree of education. So you can go to sources that will actually give you information as to what you can do in terms of self-care. This book would be a great example of something like that. And, or you can farm your life out and have somebody else try and figure it out for you. I always think that there's mm. value in investing in yourself and learning what are those things that give me energy and allow me to heal and repair versus why don't I be a little more intentional about paying a little bit more insight into is when I eat this food, why is it that I want to take a nap 20 minutes from now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or if I eat this food, I notice I have a tendency towards bloating. I have a tendency towards a foggy thinking pattern when I do bloat because there is a connection mm -hmm. between your emotional health and what's going on with your digestive health that a lot of people haven't made. If your gut tube has problems, it's very easy to start having emotional states that match the degradation going on in your gut tube. The mucous mucosa inside of the gut lining overturns quite rapidly. So like three to seven days, you can get a significant change in that period of time. And unfortunately, oftentimes, your gut and your health operate in the same way that your front lawn does. If your lawn's green and you're watering it, then fine, it's gonna stay green. But if you stop watering it, guess what? It'll probably stay green for one to three weeks and then it'll brown up again. Right. Mm -hmm. So then you go, oh, my lawn's pretty brown. I better start watering it. So then you start watering it, but you don't look out the next day after you water it and expect it to be green. You know that you're gonna have to water it consistently mm -hmm. for a certain amount of time, but you expect in faith and in knowledge that green will come yeah. if I'm consistent in doing my part. Right, right. The same thing is true here. So this is where whatever kinds of food stuffs you put into your body, you wanna be intentional about what the end result is gonna be. In the same way that when you put fluids in your car, you wanna make sure that you don't violate any manufacturer recommendations. Right, okay. Because the minute you do, you violate your warranty and you lose your horsepower, which a lot of people are walking around extremely tired, and they're not motivated. There's no song in your life. It's a matter, of, it's not a thriving situation, it's more of a survival situation. So we wanna move away from survival and into something more wonderful that the Lord has intended for us. Yeah, I, I guess, uh, that's, that's a, a good, I think, uh, uh, illustration, you know, I've got an older vehicle that's not set up to handle flex fuels. If I try to put E85 or, you know, kerosene in it, well, it's sort of like gasoline. It's probably fine. Uh, the car is not going to run the way it's supposed to. Now, Allie, you're, you're the mother of two wonderful children. Um, uh, really enjoy talking to John, especially, but Kat is just an amazing young lady as well. Um, as a parent, as a parent, uh, when you took on this project with Joe, I mean, what are some of the things that really struck you from a, a, a mother's perspective about what is going into your children? What I found immediately alarming was the psychology that we place around our food. Um, we, we tend to live these sedentary lifestyles and then we try to supplement what we're missing in our entertainment and our social life by giving the kids food that's fun. That's right. And food is fuel, it isn't fun. It shouldn't be where you supplement your emotional well-being. 
And beyond that, what I found to be really alarming is um, these flavor enhancers that literally are called excitotoxins. Hmm. And what they are is they are stimulating unto death. That's basically what the phrase excitotoxin means. And so what they do is they create these rapid fire sequences within your brain after they cross the blood brain barrier. They cross the blood brain barrier. Yes, and they go into the brain chemistry. See, the blood brain barrier is a place, it's, it's a thing put into your body, it's put in place by God around your brain to protect the uh, chemistry within your brain from being altered by what you're putting into your body. Mm -hmm. And it serves some other functions, but that's one of the things that it does. And so when you're eating these flavor enhancers that literally create kind of a, a miniature version of a high, that cross into the blood brain barrier, not only is your body becoming biologically addicted to this food and to these ingredients, right. it's also experiencing a higher elevated level of pleasure than what you can get from regular food. And all of a sudden oh. a salad pales in comparison, right. healthy food pales in comparison. And all you want are more of these potato chips or more of these, you know, fruit snacks or whatever you're eating that's filled with these excitotoxins and they are a stimulant. Mm -hmm. And so your body and your mind and your brain chemistry is being altered. It's being stimulated. And then what happens is it manifests within our kids as things that we diagnose as conditions ADD. such as ADHD, ADHD and things like that. And yeah. then we respond by medicating with our more children. more chemicals. Yeah, we respond with, with more chemicals and with, with medications and things like that. And what hmm. we're doing is we're creating this cycle that potentially could follow our child for their entire lives, and we don't know. And even moms who often think, this isn't the healthiest thing I could be feeding my kid, what they really oftentimes are thinking is, there's probably too much sugar in this. So we have right. some people who are possibly medicated for what they believe to be a mental illness, and all it is is a byproduct of way too many years of consuming way too many excitotoxins. Uh, Joe, uh, in, in what kind of foods do we find? What, it, what are excitotoxins, and, and, what, and where do we find these? What kind of so, foods? So, like, it would just do my heart wonderfully <laughs> to know if we accomplish nothing else with this first program, please, America, please stop drinking diet pop. Please. <laughs> so it's not just in the diet pop, but, but any artificial and sweeteners, uh, mm -hmm. artificial sweeteners, um, MSG, aspartame, the, the, the little pink sweeteners you see at the restaurant, sweet and low. Um, and then it's being snuck, Dr. Ralph knows this to be true, it's being snuck into a ton of our foods now. Uh, lots and lots of, of oriental type foods. Excitotoxins are being placed in more and more foods because it guarantees market share. Once you're addicted to something, you're gonna go back for more. That's it. So it's, there's non-disclosure here that, hey, taking this could potentially, for some personality types, create addictive type behaviors. Mm -hmm. Now, with addictive type behaviors, it's not just about going back for more, but it's about permanently altering your brain chemistry. In your body, you have pathways, and there is a concept called facilitation that I think is important for people to be aware of. And the best way I could explain it would be this. If you took someone's arm and you had a magic knife and you were able to sever the arm and you were able to count the connections from the brain going to the hand, for sake of argument, let's just say there's 10 connections. Well, let's say you glue the back arm back with some super glue and they play a person, you have them play piano every day for 10 or eight hours, eight or 10 hours a day. Then you come back a year later and now you cut the arm and you count the number of connections from the brain to the hand and there's a thousand connections. Why is this possible? It's because when you participate in a behavior, whether the behavior is good or bad, mm -hmm. your body will say, this seems to be a persistent behavior. Why don't we rewire ourselves so that we can create more efficiency in that pathway? In the same sense that lifting weights builds muscle. Excellent. So that, what that means is, if you're trying to facilitate for something like piano playing, well, how lovely. You're going to become a better piano player. But if you have something like pain or bitterness or unforgiveness ah. or anger mm -hmm. or frustration or confusion, when you take a harsh type of emotion that isn't going to help your immune system or feed your body anything lovely or good, then by dwelling on that, we facilitate or we actually create a more efficient pathway to keep that behavior going. Mm. Once that you're facilitated, now you're in an addictive stance. And so what you have to do is break the pattern of facilitation and then reprogram and refacilitate for something or a behavior you actually want. Mm. 
We're talking about the groundbreaking new book, Time Bomb, Joe Artis Horn, Allie Anderson, the co-authors, Dr. Ralph Umbriaco, uh, joining us on the panel. We'll tell you how you can get the book for your donation here in just a moment. And when we come back, we're going to talk about something that uh, Dr. Umbriaco mentioned earlier on, uh, the health of your gut. Your gut can leak, and that can cause problems. Find out why when Skywatch TV continues after this. As many as 80% of Americans are carrying a time bomb. A medical crisis in their bodies right now, unaware that they will soon develop prolonged chronic illness, autoimmune disease, or even cancer. Today's frightening truth is citizens are being poisoned every single day without their knowledge. A health epidemic largely brought on by industrialized food is destroying our genetics and immune systems through deadly modified organisms, carcinogenic materials, and life-threatening chemicals commonly found in most of today's processed groceries. Coming this April in the groundbreaking new book, Time Bomb, by Joe Artis Horn and Ali Anderson. You'll be put in charge of your health once again as commercial marketing games are exposed and the expose of the year unveils how easy it is to avoid toxic ingredients, identify organic and safe foods, and make healthy eating affordable. You will learn how neuroscience is confirming an amazing gut-brain connection that holds the key to maintaining physical, hormonal, emotional, and mental wellness. With powerful insights from health professionals for maintaining superior physiology and reversing chronic illness without a weight loss diet, Time Bomb is set to become your most important field guide for avoiding a national health epidemic more pervasive than anyone could have ever imagined. Time Bomb, coming this April. There is a genocide of deadly processed foods happening right now in the United States, creating a health epidemic more pervasive than anyone ever imagined. But now you can arm yourself with the knowledge to keep you and your family from becoming its next victim. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the Time Bomb special offer. When you order Time Bomb from the Skywatch TV store, you'll also receive the Time Bomb Companion DVD. This incredible DVD includes special, never before released, off the record interviews with healthcare professionals like Dr. Ralph Umbriaco, Dr. Joshua Vance, and Dr. Matthew Sams on the current food crisis in the US, and tips on how to achieve your optimal physiological health. This DVD is nearly five hours in length and also includes the entire Skywatch TV Time Bomb television series with Joe Horn, Ali Anderson, and Derek Gilbert. But that's not all. You'll also receive Eat This and Live for Kids. This colorful, fully illustrated book by Dr. Don Colbert walks you step by step through how to begin teaching your kids to love the foods that will love them back. While out shopping, how to avoid deadly toxins in many common kids' foods and household products, what to feed your kids from preschool to preteen, healthy snacks they will love, and what supplements they'll desperately need, and so much more. But the health epidemic isn't just limited to humankind. Also included in this unbelievable special offer, Joe Artis Horn's best-selling book, The Dead Pets Don't Lie Expose, and Companion DVD. This shocking book and DVD collection sounds the alarm on the scandalous practices of the commercial pet food industry. Learn how the FDA is allowing big scams where detestable, poisonous pet foods are being passed off as healthy and causing pets to die prematurely. You'll learn everything you need to know in order to quickly read pet food labels and allow your pet to avoid these toxic ingredients. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of over $100. Yours now for a donation of only $30 plus shipping and handling. Take control today. The Time Bomb special offer is your field guide to avoiding the deadly processed foods and ingredients that are creating a massive wave of health crisis in America. This information covers every member of the family, the adults, children, and even our pets. 
Begin transforming how you and your family eat and live now. The Time Bomb special offer. Order now at the Skywatch TV store online or call 844-750-4985. Welcome back to Skywatch TV. I'm Derek Gilbert. Please join us at our website because we have a lot of content there that doesn't make it onto these network television broadcasts. You'll find web exclusive interviews, daily news updates, and weekly looks at the world of science through a Christian lens into the multiverse hosted by Josh Peck and Sci Friday with the smartest person I know just happens to be my wife. The fact she married me notwithstanding, uh, Sharon K. Gilbert. <laughs> You'll find all of that at the Skywatch TV website, skywatchtv.com, and the Skywatch TV channels on Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. Uh, we're talking with Joe Artis Horn and Allie Anderson, co authors of the book Time Bomb, and expert Dr. Ralph Umbriaco about uh, how nutrition affects us physically, but also mentally and, and spiritually as well. We'll get to that in just a few moments. Uh, Dr. Umbriaco, you talked about uh, the health of the, 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 the gut and uh, Joe, uh, off air, has talked to us a number of times about something called leaky gut. What is leaky gut syndrome and why should we be concerned about it? Good, excellent question. So inside your gut tube, in the lining of the wall of the gut tube, you have something called a gap junction where the cells have a certain kind of spacing that is appropriate for their health. In the same way that if you look under your car and you look at the, the gap in your spark plug, if it's too much of a gap, it's not gonna spark properly. If there's too little gap, it's not gonna spark properly and you're gonna have low engine performance. Well, you want these gap junctions to be have an appropriate gap. If the gap's too tight, then your ability to be able to receive foodstuffs is gonna diminish. If the gap is too large, we will turn that leaky gut because now instead of being a selectively permeable membrane, it's almost like all the doors and windows are open in the house and anybody's allowed to come in and out as they please. There's a lack of control. Once you lose control of the gut biome or your gut flora, then you start having other conditions. 70% of your immune system can be argued to originate in the gut tube health. Hmm. So if you have low health, in your gut tube, you have a low immune response. So if you want to increase your immunes, uh, your body's immune system and your ability to be able to manage, then one of the places you want to start would be in preparing a better gut tube. Mm. And that's one of the reasons, by the way, that so many holistic doctors and scientists are now saying that as, many, as, as much as 80% of the population now has either already started compromising their gut or they will at some point in their lifetime which will lead to other chronic diseases, things like Crohn's, Mm -hmm. fibromyalgia, lupus, ulcerative colitis, uh, Mm. just about every brand of irritable bowel syndrome, syndrome, inflamed bowel disease, um, and then autoimmune disease in general. But when your immune system is weakened, it opens the doors for things more nefarious like cancers. And that is why the gut is so important to maintaining Mm. gut health. This is really something that not a lot of primary care and traditional medicine practitioners really recognize or or will tell you about. And, And maybe in next week's program, we'll talk a little bit more about how I come to understand this through my own personal journey. Hmm. But if you're out there and you're struggling with energy, you're finding every day that you're just chalking it up to aging, but you're dealing with brain fog. Uh, You're having a hard time focusing at work. You're drinking six, seven Red Bulls a day. These are all classic signs and symptoms that your gut is probably compromised and it is going to eventually lead to your time bomb. So you want to get your gut under control now. And it's important to note that you don't always have to feel any symptoms in your gut. You may be saying, well, I don't have gut issues. That may not be the case. Yeah, manifesting in other ways. And uh, that relates to what it, I, the, re, the way I open the program, because if right. you're feeling fatigued right. um, and not able to think clearly, that affects your ability to witness. And one huge bonus, exactly, one huge bonus to getting your gut flora under control and repairing any damage that might be done is that all of the things we've talked about, fibromyalgia, um, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, chronic fatigue, and a ton of other autoimmune diseases, uh, adult acne, this, this is all stuff that can also be reversed and put mm-hmm. into remission through gut care. Well, and that's, a, that's another thing that a lot of people won't tell you, but right. I'm, I'm living proof that this works. Well, well, let's talk about that because you said, uh, you know, again, before the program, you wanted to uh, issue uh, essentially a challenge to our viewers in order to help them begin that process to uh, improve the way they feel by, through improving what, what fuel we take into the tank. Uh, so w- tell us, what, what is the Time Bomb Skywatch TV Challenge, the weekly 
Time Bomb Skywatch TV Challenge. Okay, we want to start immediately before you buy another book, before you go Google symptoms and, and, and rush online to, to learn more about anything. We, we want you to know that, that we are all about baby steps. And, and the, the Time Bomb book in the whole spirit of the thing is to, is to help you uh, be empowered through baby steps, not to feel overwhelmed. Again, we wrote it for people like me, okay? If I can do it, you can do it too. I've even learned to cook, which I never thought imaginable, you know, a, a few years ago. <laughs> Believe me, if I can cook, so can you. But the point is, we want you to start immediately eliminating toxic foods and ingredients from your diet. So this week, we're gonna ask you to just take one ingredient and start cutting it out of your grocery list. If you go to a restaurant, make sure you ask about this ingredient and anything meat related that you might be ordering. But this week's ingredient to cut out of your life is sodium nitrates, sodium nitrites. Okay, and don't be fooled. This is gonna be, this is gonna be on a lot of hot dogs. There's gonna be a lot of lunch meats. Uh, if you eat out and you order a chicken Caesar salad because you think you're doing the right thing and they've got diced, or a chef salad, they've got diced ham, you're gonna wanna ask, are there any sodium nitrates, sodium nitrites in this meat? If the, if the waitress don't know, they'll usually ask the cook. And I know this sounds obnoxious, but guys, our health has to be a priority. I've even asked for the cook to bring me a copy of the label because he didn't know, and it turned out that there absolutely was. Sodium nitrates, sodium nitrates are linked like nuts to tons of cancers to do with pancreas, uh, colon, the brain, and a myriad of, uh, of other cancers and diseases. They're devastating on the body, and they're in a ton of foods, okay? So just take that one ingredient and say no more, chop it out of your life, and next week we will reveal another ingredient to cut. Can I add something to that? Yes. There are lunch meats out there right now that are actually advertising themselves on the front of the label as being all natural. And when you flip them over, they have nitrites in them. So you can't just go with the natural label. You have to actually read the ingredients well, right. and make sure you're not buying nitrites. And if I can add to the ad, <laughs> well, it, it's kind of interesting, but Japan has some of the lowest cancer incidence rates in the world. Part of that has to do with their diet and the amount of iodine they get. In southern Japan, about 12.5 milligrams of all things, where in this country we can't really think above micrograms without somehow becoming afraid. And then in the northern part of Japan, they get up to 50 milligrams of iodine a day. But the one cancer that they do outstrip everybody on, and speaking to your point, mm -hmm. is nitrates and nitrites from processed meats. Um, Japan has a high incidence of stomach cancers and digestive cancers because of the nitrates and mm. the nitrates, which, by the way, are also found in wine. Hmm. And there are people, a number of people who have wine allergies or have problems that stem from drinking wine, especially like red wines, because of the nitrates and the nitrates in the wine. And there are some natural nitrates and nitrites, and a smaller levels of those, if you're not highly sensitive, can be acceptable. But the minute you step up into a larger dose or a larger exposure, a number of people start to succumb over time. Mm. They're used as a preservative if you're sitting there wondering why in the world is it in the food in the first place. Mm. So yeah, read the label. That's the overarching uh, uh, recommendation here. Time Bomb is the book. Joe Artis Horn, Ellie Anderson, the authors, uh, Dr. Ralph Umbriaco, our guest, and our conversation will continue both next week on this program and you'll find web exclusives at skywatchtv.com. And we thank you for watching as we keep watch. This is Skywatch TV.